Hello friends. In the previous video lecture, we have discussed different types of insertion loss method. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the steps followed for filter design. So first part to determine a filter specifications. Next to design a low pass prototype filter. Then to get a desired filter, do a scaling and transformation on a low pass filter type. Then to do a filter implementation. Now we'll see one by one. So first is a filter specification. Specification in terms of order of filter, then cutoff frequency, then to determine insertion loss in a pass band, then a stop band attenuation and pass band behavior. Each term represents filter specification. Next part is to design a low pass filter prototype circuit. Figure shows a different components consist in this circuit. As per definition of low pass, it has series inductance and a shunt capacitors. Here to write it as one, two, and a three. Meaning is that it represents number of the reactive components present in a circuit. Here we show that three reactive components are there. It depends on order of filter. So I write here C1, L2, and the C3. You can extend up to the G M plus 1, where R0 is called as a source resistance. Same part, the upper figure represent a voltage source and a below figure represent a current source. Here, we started with the capacitors and this figure started with to the inductors. Here, for current source, inductor uh, is an initial component for voltage source capacitance is a initial component where G0, G1, G2, G3 are called as a coefficients of low pass filter prototype. Now, in this source resistance, we keep R0 equal to 1 ohm and a omega C that is cutoff frequency equal to 1 radian per second. These are called as normalized component values. Now, these remaining components, that is G0, G1, G2, and G3, are calculated with the help of table provided. For example, we know that there are the two types of filter generally used. One is a maximally flat low pass filter, and second is a equally ripple low pass filter. First, we'll see a maximally flat low pass filter. There, this table shows the different element values. Obviously, we know that G0 equal to 1 and cutoff frequency equal to 1. Here, we select n order, it is a 1 to 10. Okay, so see here, if we'll require fourth order filter, then these are the values of uh, different coefficient used for a filter design. According to the order, you will select the different component values. Now, for a second type of filter, it is equal ripple filter. Here, we keep G01, then omega C1, n equal to 1 to 10, and new term is added here. It is 0.5 degree. Friends, all of you know that in a pass band, there are the ripples after in a equally ripple prototype to get a sharp attenuation cutoff. Okay? The acceptable value for uh, attenuation in a pass band, it should be less than a 3 dB. Here, we consider a, a ripple attenuation in a pass band is a 0.5 dB according to that. We have calculated a different uh, coefficients values required for a low pass filter prototype. So these are the values. If you select five, then these represent a different coefficient values. Now we'll see 
uh, element values for uh, equally equal. In the previous part, we have considered 0.5 dB. Now, here we can we consider 3 dB ripple. For 3 dB ripple, these are the values. Okay. And this is for n equal to 10, 12. You can use according to the order of filter. Now, what may be the uh, design? The value that value is for a low pass filter prototype for making a design as a simple. But friends, practically, there are the different of filters are required. For example, actual low pass filter, a high pass filter, band pass filter, and a band stop filter. So, what is our next step? Our next step is to transform a designed low pass filter prototype into the desired filters. So, how is it possible? It is possible by using a scaling and a transformation. When you do scaling and a transformation, it is converted into the desired filter. When we will get the values of a desired filter, so what is the next step? That is a filter implementation. Filter is implemented with the help of lumped elements. That is with the help of inductor and a capacitor values. But this is uh, feasible up to the low frequency. But at a micro frequency, these are not feasible. So for that purposes, we go for a distributed circuit. Because friends, we know that uh, at a micro frequency, that is at a gigahertz, inductor acts as an open circuit and the capacitor acts as a short circuit. So, these physical components are not used at a micro frequency. So, what is the remedy for that? For that frequency, we go for distributed circuits. So, in the distributed circuits, we use a transmission lines. So, short circuit or open circuit transmission lines stops are used to approximate lumped components at microwave frequency. So, all these functionalities, whatever we have seen, these functionalities are performed using Richard transformation and the Kuroda's identities. These uh, steps will follow for designing of a new filter. In the next video lecture, we will see the problem how do we Design different desired filters. Thank you.